Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. I have a quick tip for you today. I got an email from a guy learning Cinema 4D and he tried to put an object inside of a cloner that had animation already and he couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. So instead of writing him back, I thought I'd just share it with all of you. So here's what's going on. We have an object that's animating and nested inside of it are three other objects that are animating. So if we drag these out and turn them off, you can see that the main cube just has this spin rotation going on. And then these three objects inside are kind of shooting out. Well, let's put this in a cloner and see what happens. So let's go ahead and dump this cube into the cloner. Let's change this to a grid array. We'll do two by two by two. And we'll spread these out a little bit. All right, let's say that we want all of these guys to animate inside of a cloner. Let's go ahead and go to the beginning and hit play. And you'll see that something kind of confusing is going on. We're getting some of the animation, but not all of it. So this is the way that the cloner works. Um, the first thing that's nested inside the cloner, it will not inherit the animation properties of that object. So we're not getting that spinning cube. But all of the children in that first object, it is picking up the animation of those. So there are two quick ways to fix this. The first is taking this cube, hitting Alt-G to put it in a null. Now it won't inherit any properties from the null, but it'll inherit all the children. So now if we hit play, you can see we're getting that spinning plus the secondary animation. Let's go ahead and undo that. The other thing that you can do is inside of the cloner. And you'll see this little check mark right here called fix clone. All you have to do is uncheck that, and then it's gonna inherit all of the animation of its children. So it's a really simple thing, but if you're not aware of it, uh, sometimes it can hang you up and be very frustrating. So I hope that helps you out understanding the relationship of the cloner and the animation of the nested objects. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.